Hello. This week's Haftarah is the first of the four special parshiot before the Chag of Pesach, the holiday of Passover. The first one is called Shekalim. You also have the one about the red heifer and the memory of the Amalekites and the special announcement of the month that the Passover holiday came in, and that's the Hachodesh, or the special month. So this week is Shabbat Shekalim. Everybody knows what a shekel is. So it is the counting of the shekels, and that every Jew was to stand up and be counted. So let's take it from the Book of Kings, second Book of Kings, and it is the story of this fantastic king, Yoash. And Yoash is actually got a very interesting grandmother, and even more interesting great-grandmother. His great-grandmother was none other than King Atalia. No, sorry. His great-grandmother was none other than Izevel, Jezebel. Remember from a few weeks ago with Eliyahu Hanavi? So now, Achav and Izevel, the king and queen of the ten northern tribes, has a daughter, or according to some, Ahav is the daughter, and now Atalia marries into the Davidic dynasty, and she, her son dies, her son becomes king and dies, she becomes the queen, and somehow she decides that she is going to kill every living member, can't kill the dead members, every living member of the Davidic dynasty. And she succeeds with the exception of one, this boy, Yoash. He was maybe a year old at the time. And Yehoyada, Kohen Gadol, and Yehosheva, his wife, hid him, some say, in the Kadosh HaKdashim, in the Holy of Holies, in the Beit HaMikdash, in King Solomon's Holy Temple, until he was the age of eight, when you could be coronated and made king. So, she has this reign of terror. There's Baal worship, Asherah worship, fertility goddesses, agricultural goddesses. So now what? The boy becomes eight years old, he could become king. So the plan is that they are going to encircle Yehoash on the Temple Mount, and they're going to put the crown from the Davidic dynasty on his head, and he is to become the king. And then the plan goes as follows. He is brought, the eight-year-old, into the Temple Mount. He is encircled by guards, and then... They put the crown on his head. His grandmother, Atalia, sees this, and what does she do? She flips her wig, or her shadle. So now, what do you have? She comes running. What's going on? What's going on? This is a conspiracy. I'm the queen. He can't be the king. And they have her carried off and murdered, assassinated, this evil queen. So now, this holy man becomes the king. And he ruled for 40 years. Some years into it, I think when he was about 31, he realizes that the Holy Temple, that the money that's given to the priests are not going towards renovating the Beit HaMikdash, the Holy Temple. So now he says, whoa, we have to do better kabayit. We have to do the cleanup of the house. And he says, where is all this money? No one has an answer. He says, Okay, whenever somebody walks into the Holy Temple now, there's going to be the first pushka, the first tzedakah box, and that he put a metal box and a slit in it, and people will put the money in. Then this money was distributed to pay the workers in the Holy Temple to renovate the place. And this goes on, and they clean out all the... Shmutz, all the idol worshipping, with the exception of the, ba, the Bamot, the little mini altars, personal altars, where it was the life of personal paganism, personal worshipping of Asherah and Baal. Nevertheless, 
he is being influenced by the great Kohen Gadol, Yehoyada. And unfortunately, Yehoyada passes away at the age of, I think, 132, 137. And uh, Yehoash flips out. And they actually now kill him, his people, because initially they believed that he was some sort of deity, saved by God, protected in the temple, made the king, and he said that he wasn't, and nevertheless, this man's life, you know, came to an end in a very sad way. So, the purpose of this Haftarah is the part about the Shekalim, about the coins, that all the people came to the temple and put the coins into the pushka, the charity box, the tzedakah box, and that is how they collected the money. So this is the way that we um, celebrate the upcoming holiday of Purim and then eventually Pesach. We are the first of the four special Shabbatot before the holiday of Pesach. Shabbat Shalom. Enjoy the Haftarah.